Friday trade hackers Friday June 11th here with your day trading recap uh, nice way to end the week plus one thousand thirty seven dollars let's go over these trades and then I'll come back and recap the week for you uh, uh, three mighty nineties all three winners Apple 256 Nvidia 290 Roku plus 144 did a couple pairs trades one in the Russell versus Nasdaq for 156 and small winner in silver versus gold for $33 so net net 189 on the two pairs trades and then on the runners just barely in the green uh, did a Nasdaq trade minus 57 Apple minus 220 Netflix minus 540 Roblox plus 172 I was up over a thousand on that one gave a bunch back uh, Roku minus 627, Zoom my biggest winner, uh, 1110, and then Tesla plus 320. All right, so let's go over these, and I'll show you what we did. Starting with the mighty 90s, let's go to Apple. All right, so an Apple, come on, Apple, there you go. Uh, so an Apple I had this nice little push higher, nice volume pop, got short right here, and just caught this little down move there for a quick 256. I actually... I was up more. This thing bounced so quick on me, I wasn't able to get out at the lower end of this candle. Uh, so it, I gave a little bit back in that little quick push up, but uh, still booked 256 on Apple. Uh, NVIDIA plus 290. Whoop. All right, so NVIDIA, uh, same thing. Got a nice push, nice volume pop. Got short right there and just caught that little two bar red move for a nice 290 in NVIDIA. Uh, Roku. Roku, Roku. Oops, I replaced that one. All right, so Roku was my last mighty 90. And okay, so on this one, this thing pushed and had a nice volume spike. It got almost as high as the first. So when it just came down a little bit, I just closed it out. Uh, obviously, in hindsight, this thing really did flush down. Would have been a real nice winner. But I just I took a little piece out. And in fact, I reversed. I'll show you on the runners. Uh, well, I'll do it right now. On the runner, I ended up, so I reversed right here and was looking for a continuation higher and just didn't happen. Just chopped around, chopped around, so it started to get weak and I just cut out. So got a quick winner on the Mighty 90 for 144, but then on the uh, runner lost 627. So net, net loser on Roku today. NASDAQ, uh, I took a little runner and, and what I did here is when this thing started to push up, uh, into positive territory. It was right, I think it was right in this area here. Um, I got, I got long and I was looking for a, it, you know, bounced, it got into uh, positive territory. I was looking for a big push higher, just kind of chopped around. So I ended up just cutting out somewhere in here, obviously late in the day, it, it had a nice little push up, but, uh, so I didn't catch on that. Uh, so minus 57 on that one. And then back to Apple, I did a runner on Apple. Uh, this one was a loser as well. This one, um, so in Apple, uh, I got in right here. So I had that nice strength back up just below the highs of the day, pulled back, got long, started to push up, didn't get out of any, came back down and started chopping around. And I just, I was kind of done for the moment. I ended up taking some trades later, but I just cut out of it and, and took a small loss. Uh, not too long after this thing did rally. Uh, but I didn't participate in that. And then Netflix. So Netflix uh, had, you know, it's kind of it's kind of choppy, um, but then it, it started looking like it was just consolidating right at yesterday's high, and I was looking for a continuation to new highs on the day. Never happened when it started getting weak. I just cut out of it and took a small loss on Netflix. And then Roblox. Quite a few trades today. Uh, I traded a little bit later in the day. So Roblox had a really nice profit, uh, had this initial volume spike on this pullback, got long, it shot up, had a big profit, um, and then I got back in, it shot up, I was really close to taking profits here, it pushed up again, I was really close to taking profits up here, it just didn't quite hit my order, and then rolled over, and so I cut out of it, so I ended up booking 172, I was up significantly more than that, but uh, that, my friends, is trading. I uh, already showed you Roku Zoom. All right, so Zoom was my biggest winner, and and it could have been even bigger. So Zoom had this nice volume spike on this little pullback, caught this up move here, uh, had another volume spike. So when it pulled back, I got in here, 
and caught that move. I was trying to add to it here and I just never got filled and it took off without me. Uh, but really just push number one and then push number two and got out a total of a, a little over $1,100 on those two trades. And then my late day trade was in Tesla. And this was just a, a quick one. Uh, not very, not even very big of a move, but um, Tesla pushed up uh, to uh, into a positive territory and pulled back. So right when it pulled back to the unchanged mark, I got long right here and just caught this little bounce right here for a quick 320. I uh, just scaled out pretty quick. Uh, it it kind of just paused and the market started looking like it was weak. So I just got out. I was kind of done for the day anyway. So plus uh, a little over $1,000 uh, profit on the day. Unfortunately, still ended the week uh, a little bit in the red. Let me bring my sheet back here. So on the mighty 90s, we uh, booked a total of 280, only six trades. There's Wednesday and Thursday, we didn't take any mighty 90 trades, but on those six booked a green profit, nice winning percentage, over 83%. Just those two pairs trades today for 189, and then on the runners, uh, minus $1,000. So win rate wasn't great again. This is actually the third week in a row we've had uh, a losing week in runners. Uh, so for the week, minus 558, uh, not too bad. Um, you know, I was down a little bit more in the week. We had a, a horrendous Wednesday uh, that really pulled us down. Uh, Wednesday, usually my best trading day, still overall since the beginning of the year. Most profits have been booked on Wednesday, but this Wednesday was not the one. So uh, slightly in the red for the week. Uh, we'll be streaming every day next week. Look forward to seeing you in the live stream room. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, we'll see you then.